indeed dengue is the most rapidly increasing infectious disease burden globally and in Malaysia the epidemic of dengue occur in the cycle of four to five years what is obvious is the fact that the peak of the epidemic cycle continue to increase exponentially over the years this project actually is just timely for Malaysia where dengue has been a, a, a problem for the past couple of decades uh, not only it's been causing a lot of uh, disease burden it also is uh, spreading all over the region dengue transmission involves the interaction of four important factors the dengue virus the Aedes mosquito as the vector the human host and the environment in tropical countries like Malaysia, environment is a major nightmare with regards to air spreading. We have abundance of rainfall and anything that can collect rainwater, even a crack in the building, can support air spreading. Detection alone as a passive surveillance system does not really work as well as if we can make a, a active surveillance to predict the disease. And that's where DMOS comes into play. We provided weekly uh, dengue case data as well as we had obtained, analyzed and provided shape files for Malaysia at a district level which was essential in enabling the DMOS system to provide relevant and accurate forecast at a district level for the respective states. Today, I would like to share our innovation titled Dengue Forecasting Model Satellite Based System or also known as DMOS. Dengue is the fastest growing mosquito-borne viral infection globally. The global incidence of dengue has grown dramatically with about half of the world's population now at risk of infection. It is estimated 400 million infections occur each year worldwide. There are several challenges when it comes to controlling dengue outbreaks in Malaysia. First, there is an increasing dengue infection over the past 20 years. Dengue infections have a four-year cyclical trend with the last major outbreak occurring in 2019 and the subsequent one is expected to occur in 2023. Currently, there is no early warning disease surveillance system for dengue outbreaks which is able to generate real-time dengue forecasts at district levels in Malaysia. Therefore, there is a need to develop an early warning disease surveillance system which would assist health authorities in the control and management of dengue outbreaks. Therefore, the need of innovation are basically divided into these three categories. First, to use and validate satellite weather data for dengue forecasting uh, system in Malaysia. It is known that dengue outbreaks are affected by weather changes such as temperature, rainfall and wind speed. Satellite weather data provides higher spatial representativeness, accuracy and reliability with better coverage as compared to ground-based weather data. Therefore, using satellite data would provide improved dengue forecasts. Second, developing and validating the DMOS system using validated satellite data in order to produce forecasts of dengue cases six months in advance in all the districts in Malaysia. And lastly, to develop, pilot and deploy the DMOS web-based interactive early warning dengue surveillance system which would enable health authorities to manage and control dengue outbreaks. Moving to the first need of innovation, we can clearly see that evidence in literature reports significant correlation between weather data and dengue cases. For this study, satellite weather data was obtained from three satellites with a spatial representation for Malaysia within the latitude of 0 to 8 degrees north and longitude 98 to 120 degrees east. Daily satellite weather data with high coverage and resolution for Malaysia for the period of 2011 to 2019 was used to generate 2,861 raster layers for rainfall temperature and wind speed. Following this, the satellite weather data was compared and validated with four corresponding spatially matched ground station weather data for the central and east coast region of Peninsula Malaysia. What did we find? 
we found strong correlations between satellite and ground station weather data with the highest correlation being for temperature followed by rainfall and wind speed. Second, we then developed and validated the DEMOS system using the validated satellite data. So the DEMOS model was developed with validated satellite data and observed dengue cases using an ensemble probabilistic model with the Gaussian method. This method produces better data representations and allows the model to perform several reruns of starting condition with various uncertainties to generate multiple forecasts. Higher degree of similarity among forecasts are indicative of greater model accuracy. Subsequently, the DEMOS model underwent several iterative cycles of development that was based on extensive user consultation and a formal verification process. The DEMOS output presents different outbreak threshold with several probabilistic forecasts of dengue cases as well as the most accurate forecast at district levels. This is the DEMOS system user interface. Upon logging in, users will be brought into this interface for which they can then select the particular desired district of interest as well as the outbreak threshold that they desire. Once they have selected the desired district of interest and the outbreak threshold, they would be presented with an interactive map as well as a time series data. This time series data basically presents two uh, time series trends. One is the orange one which is actually the outbreak threshold and one is the cases. So here we can see these are the retrospective data and at this point in time the forecast is given and the forecast is given based in six months in advance of uh, dengue cases that would occur. At this point users can actually see if these forecasts are actually going to exceed the uh, outbreak threshold that has been provided here. At the same time users will be able to observe the uh, outbreak thresholds that would occur at respective dates, the percentages of exceeding its threshold based on the confidence interval range. And all these data, users are able to download them in a tabular as well as in CVS as well as in the map format. Simultaneously, at this map, users are able to then zoom into their particular district of interest and from here, they can actually see the probability of exceeding the threshold. Subsequent to this, we developed, piloted and deployed the DEMOS web-based interface early warning dengue surveillance system. This interface was developed using the Shiny R package and it had interactive maps and plots which was developed using the leaflet and ggplot packages. This interface allows users to identify districts of interest, select outbreak threshold, access the probability of outbreak threshold exceedance and forecast of case numbers six months in advance. Outputs are presented via interactive maps, time series plots and tables and all data can be downloaded in Excel, CSV and map formats. The DEMOS interactive website is secured with password protected access. Finally, the developed and piloted and deployed DEMOS web-based interactive system was a fully functioning prototype that is currently being tested out in MOH facilities in Malaysia. The pilot test began since 2020 and it involved a number of 136 districts in Malaysia. So since, it's been, since it was being deployed, there has been several user engagement activities that have been conducted. These activities include workshop, pilot studies and consultation, which was aimed to improve the system application and utilization. And we found there was a significant increase in agreement of the DEMOS application among users. A DEMOS national workshop survey was, conduct, workshop was conducted in January 2022 whereby participants included stakeholders from the Ministry of Health and project team members. The workshop was officiated by the Deputy Minister of Health. So in summary, to prepare for the management and control for future dengue outbreaks in Malaysia, our work has firstly developed an early warning dengue surveillance system for Malaysia called the DEMOS and this system was developed using an ensemble probabilistic model forecast that includes validated satellite weather data in the model. And through the deployment of a web-based interactive secure application, we were able to produce accurate dengue forecasts six months in advance at all districts in Malaysia. And the system was piloted and accepted by the relevant health stakeholders in Malaysia. And these are the project team members. And these are the project members. Thank you.